my first time on television. Uh, oh my God. For, in the, oh my God. Oh, you mean like not doing a Zoom? Yeah. Like not doing, oh wow. Yeah, this is my first in studio. It's very wow. exciting. You Hi look everybody. so beautiful. Thanks. I mean, I need people to know that even when you're at her house and you're having dinner, even in her like simple clothes, <laughs> you feel less than. <laughs> you are like, was that what God intended? Was no. That, yeah, oh my it, goodness. And not to Just talk sitting about down, though, I've been doing this crazy, um, like EMS workout, electro oh. muscle stimulation, and my whole butt but hurts so butt bad hurts? just sitting down. Wait, oh. does that mean it works out for you? It's 20 minutes, but it's like working out for four hours, oh. and you you are hooked up to like this moist like wetsuit with elect el electronic stuff stuck to your muscles, and then you do little movements through it. And then we're all just dying. I, all my hair, makeup people, everybody, we're all um, dead. Everyone sees your body, and right now, I think the internet <laughs> is gonna crash because everyone no. is racing to get this. No, no, I, and I'm actually like gaining weight through it, and I'm like, oh, that's muscle, right? That, yeah, it? it's for sure muscle. <laughs> that's what my friend said, Trisha. She was like, how am I working out and getting fatter? Yeah. Like, I'm getting weight what more. The, I think we yeah. get cocky with food, that's why. Uh, I think that's. I just do that in general. Um, so <laughs> you so you, you and John, y'all spent the Grammy, Grammy nights dressed like this, which, this is amazing. Look at you. Was we that just bored. in your closet? You were so bored. I, I texted um, uh, one of my stylists, Monica, and I was like, I, uh, I feel so bad because she had been asking me for months if we were going. Yeah. And then I was under the impression there was no Grammys. And yeah. that we just, and then, and then, you know what it's like when it's your award isn't televised, and then you're like, oh, I probably didn't win, or what, yeah, whatever. Yeah. And then they're like, John, your award's televised. And I was like, you won! Oh, <laughs> and then he didn't win. So there was a, he the, did old, win. the old switcheroo. He won the um, untelevised one, yeah. Yeah, but whatever. It's best R&B album, right? I know. Yeah. yeah. Um, I have another photo, though. Um, so I want to ask you about oh, what's oh, happening. God. This what's happening well. Did uh, it not? <laughs> Do you I'm actually, I was backstage in your beautiful dressing room. You have hands down the best dressing room of any talk show out there. <gasps> Thank you. Always. Thanks. This is like, it's, it's even better somehow. Okay, oh. so anyway, I've, I've been backstage just on my Twitter, like as my daily thing is threatening to quit or threatening to deactivate. And then this one, I was like, <laughs> oh, Instagram's nice though. And then nope, they showed me that they were upset. What happened? What do you mean? We were trying to take like beauty glam photos and he was just in, in the middle of it. But yeah, people were really bothered by it. I don't know. My I son's hilarious. Anytime he walks in my bathroom and I have to be naked or something, he's always like, naked baby. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Naked baby too. <laughs> yeah. Naked baby. Naked baby. And that's I'm like, so now I feel dirty about it. Just why are we talking daughter, about it? Luna is yeah. always like, naked baby. And that's what my kids do. Shake. And then we take, I mean, we take baths together. We, yeah. it's, I don't see I think the everybody's issue with comfort it. level is different. But here's yeah. my favorite part about any of the social media stuff. I love that you clap back. Um, and I, I love that the most interesting concept to me is why do people follow you? Follow you I know. if they don't like you or they have a problem I with know. what you're doing. It is the most interesting and thing I'll always, to me. Because I have the time. Because I don't have time. I do, and I'll go to their page, and it's always they follow me, and their page is and their page is private. Every without without hesitation, every time it's like that. Wow. But um, I yeah, you because you think they know by now. I haven't changed through all these years. Yeah. It's just um, yeah. I think people and your social media account is supposed to be a representation of who you are. Like this is who you are. So like, okay, cool. You I don't know. like it. Bye. And what's like, really weird is like the psychology of it. Really learning about uh, people because um, obviously we had like a really weird rough year, and then when people decide that their pity for you is over and that like, oh, it's noon and it's time to be mean again. Like it, now yeah. it feels appropriate. Yeah. It's such an odd, icky thing to to look at people doing. Like it just, it felt like honestly one weekend everyone was like, oh, we don't feel bad for them anymore and we're gonna do this. Cause like it was, wow. I remember going through all of that, going through all of the emotion after a miscarriage or mm -hmm. a stillborn and then telling John that like, wow, the amount of love that we're getting both in person and online is like unheard of for me. I'm not used to this. And then just one day now, it was over. that's a sad statement. Yeah. Yeah. My big thing now is I just want to, I want, I want to follow all the same people I follow, maybe work with Twitter, but not allow anyone to follow me. And oh. I don't ever want to speak, but I want my same list of, yeah. of people that I follow. Cause I genuinely, it's been 11, 12 years on Twitter now. So to, those are my buddies. Wow. That's yeah. a long time. I forgot. Yeah. It's a long time yeah. to take a constant beating, uh, but yeah. you 
like, oh, you would think like it made you it would make you stronger. No, I think it it weakened me. Do you go and I go emotionally like being in the limelight in general? I go like a roller coaster, like yeah. not a severe one, but yeah. kind of like a woo. Because yeah. some days I'm just like I can handle anything. I'm yeah. like whatever, and other days I'm like what? Some days I'm like I have a beautiful family, a perfect husband. Like I really have an incredible life, and then some days I'm like I don't know if I can do this anymore. Like yeah. this is overwhelming. I don't know if I can be on here and interact with people that that. But that's what I like about you. You're not fail. perfect online. That's what I like. And even in person, like even as a dinner, like you're not perfect. You're you're very normal and you're very raw in the moment. I think that is so freaking refreshing because I don't think most people are like that. It's hard to make mistakes in front of everybody yeah. um, for that many years. But, but I love that you own it and you're like, that's me. And then like, maybe you think it's a mistake. Like even if you do make a mistake, you apologize. But at the same time, might not be a mistake to you. You might be like, well, that's just who I am or how well, I am. Well, tell that to my therapist because they're just like itching for me to Well, why don't we everything. trade? You can talk to my therapist. And I'll talk to <laughs> we'll probably have the same issues. We're so similar, <laughs> honestly. I don't know. I hope you don't. I want to discuss a serious topic with you as well. So we're, we're seeing protests um, against anti-Asian violence. Um, and I just want to know your thoughts on it. It's actually what's been happening has been incredible. I think a lot of uh, a lot of people have been reaching out to me and wondering how they can help, what they can do, and I love I love to post tangible things that people can do because there's all sorts of performative activism. Mm -hmm. um, I think we just came out of a long line of politicians that that put a target on Asian people's backs by calling it the China virus, and so people are seeing. Asian people out on the streets. Um, I, I automatically think of like when my mom's without me, um, how do people look at her? How do people treat her? Um, a lot of mothers and fathers are being targeted around the country. And it is so, it, uh, it's so obvious to me what, uh, what the motive is. I, it's not, doesn't seem to be obvious to the politicians out there that are saying like, we're not quite sure of the motive, but I think we know what it is. And, mm -hmm. and if people um, can just reach out in any way to support um, the Asian American community, um, uh, AAPI in general, um, there's Stop AAPI Hate, which is a, a wonderful organization to donate to, and an organization called 18 Million Rising mm -hmm. um, is really incredible, but also support, it's little things like supporting Asian-owned businesses around, around you, supporting your local Chinatown. I mean, these things are disappearing uh, quicker than we know it, and soon they're gonna be gone, and we're, it's, it's heartbreaking to me. So support any way you can. Don't just be the person that reaches out via text and checking in on you. Um, yeah. uh, I, we all, have to have each other's backs in this because Asian Americans are Americans. They came here for, my mother came here for the American dream. She got to have a cookbook. My great grandfather did the same thing. Yeah, like, and that's, we're all immigrants. We're all from is, immigrants. And yeah. it's nobody's birthright here that they are the only ones to enjoy the fruits of America. That's just not a fact. That's, that's not, uh, there is plenty for everybody and we should welcome anyone that wants to come here to make their dreams possible. That's yeah, it. I think especially having children, mm -hmm. it's so hard and it's but your children. It's so odd because they're, they are so young still they're two mm. and four Luna um, almost three and five they will start picking up though especially I know. Luna and yeah. right now I think what we talk about a lot is representation representation in the media and representation in Disney shows Raya the Last Dragon was incredible for us to see I a tuk -tuk Raya. on television yeah. like Luna's like our uncle like uh, uh, uncle has a tuk-tuk and mm. oh we eat rice porridge in the morning and mm. she has hair like me uh, and you know mm. it's just that kind of you know firsthand, I'm sure, that kids notice things so early. They notice yeah. how they're unique. Sponges. And they notice their differences. Yeah. And yeah, and at school, and, and they just happen to be more vocal about it. And so you, it's important to explain it to them in the, in the simplest of ways um, uh, that they're different, but they're beautiful, they're unique. But, yeah. you know, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's, uh, it's so crazy to me that Luna can look at a princess and be like, why don't I have blonde straight hair? And I'm like, yeah. your hair's different, but it's beautiful. It's yeah. not worry. Um, yeah. All right, so wait, I need to talk about this. This is sitting here, this is awesome. Um, we need to talk about your new brand of cleaning products. Yes. Um, so the line is called Safely. My hope, because I am i don't know if you're a mom like me, I don't like anything that's like, might be damaging, you know, for my kids. No, of around. course, uh, the pets and children, this is all safe by, it's made um, with aromatherapy oils. So the smell that lingers is oh. really nice and really beautiful and really clean smelling. And the best part for me is you can use it on all different surfaces. So we started out really small with just a few items, mm -hmm. but few of the crucial items that we need because Chris and Emma are like the most incredible entrepreneurs um, out there. Like everyone says like, oh, girl bosses. I'm like, no, 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 bosses. They're just yeah. bosses. And so when they came to me um, uh, about this product and wanting to shake up 
uh, shake up the world of cleaning products, um, I was really excited, uh, really excited for it because we are paying attention to labels so much more in this pandemic. Yeah. And honestly, everyone's like, Chris Jenner doesn't clean. I'm like, are you kidding me? She's the cleanest person I know. She, you'll be talking to her on a couch and she'll be like eyeballing something in the corner that, that, and then she'll just quickly get up and pick it up. I, <laughs> she'll, she'll, she notices if I have something on my shoe when I come in her house. Like it's, she's a nutcase about it and she's doing it. Her, She's crazy, but um, are yeah. you a neat freak? I am. I'm a. I'm like a. Your I house am, was spotless. I know. I am. When a I came over for dinner with everybody, I, I said like, John is so different. He's not. He's clean, but not neat. Yeah. So like, he looks like the Invisible Man. Like after he goes pee, and then he like he takes his clothes off. It'll be like shoes, and then like the piping <laughs> of the jeans will still be in the shoes. And I'm like, are you a firefighter? Like, are you setting this up so you can like get back into it really quick again? Um, but yeah, he he's clean. He's not neat. But I've come from the blogging. world world of like constantly filming yourself cooking and so I take my recipes take so much longer because I clean in between absolutely everything I do every dish I do um I clean all the countertops because I, I need it to look pretty at yeah. all times so I'm just I've always been a nut about it so it's it's yeah it's just I it's so love fun to be. cleaning I find oh it therapeutic God. me too yeah well good news for everyone in our house seats y'all um you are all getting the full line of safely home cleaning and self-care yes! products burr, 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 burr. enjoy it I love you. Yep, I'm still here. Just waiting for you to subscribe. If you don't, I'll be trapped in this box forever.